when it comes to precision, your margin of error is slim. To accurately hit the target separates you from the pack. Our APKWS laser-guided rocket delivers that precision. With a mid-body guidance design that integrates between the warhead and rocket motor, we turn an unguided rocket into the tactical weapon of choice. Using highly sensitive optics built into its guidance wings, the rocket can instantly see the whole field of regard when fired. These sensors lock onto laser-designated targets with unrivaled accuracy. Combat proven with the United States military branches and allied nations, the APKWS rocket supports fixed and rotary wing platforms. Compatible with 2.75-inch rocket motors, warheads, and launchers, it can be tailored for a wide range of missions. At a third the weight of existing laser-guided munitions, it allows pilots to carry more stowed weapons into combat. It's the only U.S. government program of record for 2.75-inch guided rockets. When it comes to precision, we stand out from the pack. The Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, or APKWS, is a guided 2.75-inch rocket that uses semi-active laser guidance technology to strike soft and lightly armored targets in built-up and confined areas. APKWS can easily convert an unguided hydro rocket into a guided rocket without altering the effectiveness of the warhead and fuse. It is a plug-and-play, point-and-shoot system that requires no modification to the aircraft or launcher. The system consists of four components, the M423 fuse, the M151 warhead, the MK66 Mod 4 rocket motor, and the WGU-59B guidance section. BAE Systems developed an innovative mid-body design for APKWS. The key to the design is the placement of the Distributed Aperture Semi-Active Laser Seeker, or DASLs, aperture domes on each of the guidance section wings. In the retracted position, the optics are stored inside the guidance section and are protected by special wing slot seals. This configuration protects the guidance optics from the effects of environmental conditions and damage from adjacent rocket fire. The guidance system uses the same laser designator as the Hellfire missile. For the pilot, laser targeting procedures and armament control remain unchanged from those of current laser-guided weapons. The weapon can be guided remotely through a targeting team on the ground, a buddy aircraft, or autonomously through the platform's onboard target designation system. Conversion of an unguided rocket into an APKWS guided rocket is simple. The unguided rocket is placed into a fixture where the fuse and warhead are removed from the rocket motor using a strap wrench. Next, the guidance unit is screwed into the rocket motor and the warhead and fuse are screwed into the guidance section to complete the conversion. Before inserting the weapon into the launcher, a pulse repetition frequency code that matches the one of the designating laser must be dialed into APKWS through the laser switch assemblies. Next, the on-off switch is placed into the on position. Having completed these procedures, the APKWS equipped rocket is now ready to be loaded into the launcher. Due to its mid-body design and laser seeker aperture placement, APKWS is a lock-on after launch weapon. The most obvious advantage of this design was revealed during adjacent rocket fire testing. The testing consisted of six APKWS-equipped inert rockets placed into the tubes surrounding an unguided rocket. The mid-body guidance sections are fully enclosed in the launcher and are protected from the fire, smoke, and debris from the fired rocket in the center. 
Upon removal from the launcher, one can see how the APKWS guided rocket's optics are protected from the effects of adjacent rocket fire. Within one second after launch, the battery energizes the electronics in the guidance section. The wings deploy, and the trailing edges called flaperons de-roll and stabilize the rocket. Following D-roll, the four sensor aperture domes work together to create a sight picture with a 40-degree field of regard. Seeker optics then lock onto the laser energy that has been placed on the target, and guidance begins. In testing, the sensors acquired laser target data as far away as 14 kilometers, well beyond the range of the rocket motor. During flight, the seeker electronics interpret the intensity of the laser energy and determine the angle to the target. This information is sent to the guidance system. The proportional navigation software maintains the closure angle for stationary and moving targets. Simultaneously, the internal measurement unit, or IMU, senses pitch, roll, and yaw. The autopilot uses the IMU and seeker data to calculate flaperon positions. This data is sent to the control actuation system, which in turn controls the flaperons. The result is precision flight to the target. APKWS fills the weapons gap that exists by providing a precision guided rocket that will eliminate soft and light armored targets. It is not intended to replace the current requirement for unguided rockets used for area suppression, illumination, obscuration, or marking. It's also not designed to replace the need for a high-yield anti-armor weapon such as the Hellfire missile. In U.S. Marine Corps testing, the performance of APKWS has proven to be outstanding. Since testing began in 2002, APKWS has hit its target 68 times within the 2-meter requirement at an average of 0.44 meters or 17 inches from the laser spot, whether shooting at multiple stationary targets or high-speed moving targets. APKWS has demonstrated that it is the right weapon for the warfighter in today's battlefield environments.
The most obvious advantage of this design was revealed during adjacent rocket fire testing. The testing consisted of six APKWS-equipped inert rockets placed into the tubes surrounding an unguided rocket. The mid-body guidance sections are fully enclosed in the launcher and are protected from the fire, smoke and debris from the fired rocket in the center. Upon removal from the launcher, one can see how the APKWS guided rocket's optics are protected from the effects of adjacent rocket fire. Within one second after launch, the battery energizes the electronics in the guidance section. The wings deploy, and the trailing edges called flaperons de-roll and stabilize the rocket. Following D-roll, the four sensor aperture domes work together to create a sight picture with a 40-degree field of regard. Seeker optics then lock onto the laser energy that has been placed on the target, and guidance begins. In testing, the sensors acquired laser target data as far away as 14 kilometers, well beyond the range of the rocket motor. During flight, the seeker electronics interpret the intensity of the laser energy and determine the angle to the target. This information is sent to the guidance system. The proportional navigation software maintains the closure angle for stationary and moving targets. Simultaneously, the internal measurement unit, or IMU, senses pitch, roll, and yaw. The autopilot uses the IMU and seeker data to calculate flaperon positions. This data is sent to the control actuation system, which in turn controls the flaperons. The result is precision flight to the target. APKWS fills the weapons gap that exists by providing a precision guided rocket that will eliminate soft and light armored targets. It is not intended to replace the current requirement for unguided rockets used for area suppression, illumination, obscuration, or marking. It's also not designed to replace the need for a high-yield anti-armor weapon such as the Hellfire missile. In U.S. Marine Corps testing, the performance of APKWS has proven to be outstanding. Since testing began in 2002, APKWS has hit its target 68 times within the 2-meter requirement at an average of 0.44 meters or 17 inches from the laser spot, whether shooting at multiple stationary targets or high-speed moving targets. APKWS has demonstrated that it is the right weapon for the warfighter in today's battlefield environments.